Their first matchup this year was so good, they will do it again here tonight in back-to-back -back games. The New York Football Giants will take on the Washington football team. Their first matchup, Week 5, the Giants picking up the win in a shootout. And now after the bye week, the Giants take on the football team yet again since we did play the football team in week five. Washington has gone on to lose in week number six. So now we've got the 0-6 Washington football team coming to town to take on the 5-0 New York football Giants. But yet again, this is still a very tough matchup for the Giants considering how close Washington has been with them over the last couple of years. And really, just two weeks ago, that game came down to the wire. We will see if we get more defense in tonight's episode. Also, yeah, we brought in Rob Gronkowski. I, just why not? He'll be the third string tight end, but maybe you'll see some of Gronk. Maybe you won't. I don't know. He's going to be behind both Roberson and, of course, Evan Ingram. And also, episode number four of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode on NCAA 14 comes out soon. Don't have an official day on this video yet, but it will be the number 10 Louisiana State Tigers going on the road to take on the unranked Tennessee Volunteers, but going back to this Giants and football team game, we will see if the Giants can remain undefeated and improve to record of 6 and 0. Oh. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 22. Here on the channel, there is JT Daniels. You have seen him so many times over the years, the former Georgia quarterback back out again for Washington. It will be 3rd and 12 for Washington from their own 11-yard line. Daniels looking to throw. He's got all day in the pocket. JT Daniels to his left is going to find Terry McLaurin for a gain of 21 for a first down for the football team. Now they face a 3rd and 5, though. Out the gun goes Daniels. Looking to his right. That ball is caught by Antonio Gibson. Back from injury, but Gibson is short of the first down marker, and the Giants will get the football. Out comes Daniel Jones. 1,436 yards so far this season. 16 touchdowns with 5. INTs. It's a first and 10 for the Giants from their own 19 yard line. Jones looking to throw single coverage on Stephon Diggs and Diggs is off the races on the corner out. Diggs is going to beat everyone and he's going to get into the end zone. It's an 81 yard touchdown for Diggs and the New York Giants go up six to nothing to start this game. You know what? We're going to go for two with a fake extra point. Purity's going to pitch it back to Harrison Bucker. Bucker to Ingram. And the Giants are going to convert. Fake extra point. Harrison Bucker to Evan Ingram. And the Giants go up 8-0. So here comes the football team back out for a first and 10 for the 28-yard line. That ball is almost picked. Instead, that will be a first down completion to Troy Franklin. Washington's now got it from the 47-yard line. Dropping back is Daniels to his left. Ball is caught again for the first down. One more time, Franklin back-to-back -back grabs. He's got the football team down to the 26-yard line for a first and 10. It's an RPO, but they're going to Antonio Gibson. Gibson running over a couple Giants defenders. It'll be a pickup of nine. Now a third and one for Washington on the ground. Gibson again. He's got the first down. He'll chuck his way down to the four. Give him a gain of 13 yards as we now head into the second quarter, though. Washington with a goal to go opportunity. However, the Giants up eight to nothing. It's a third and goal, though, for the football team from the five yard line. Dropping back. JT Daniels looking to throw. Pressure coming. Daniels gonna go down. It's a loss of 11, Dexter Lawrence with the sack. And it's going to be a fourth and goal for the Washington football team. And they'll kick the field goal, cutting this one to a five-point game. So it's an 8-3 game now. The Giants out on the 25-yard line. It's a third and six. That ball is going to be dropped by Khalil Herbert. Can't hold on with the hit. And Washington will get it back from the 26-yard line. Daniels looking to throw on a third and eight. That ball is caught, but out of bounds. Gerald Everett does not get the first down. The Giants will force the punt out of Washington. So a second eight from the 26 for Daniel Jones. Looking to throw, scrambling to his right. Jones is going to take off, and he's going to run. Daniel Jones down the sidelines is going to be pushed out of the 43 yard line, but give him a gain of 17. And now a second and four from the 49. Jones again dropping back, looking. Got a man open. It is Kadarius Tony. Tony to the outside, getting the Giants over midfield down to the 26 yard line, where they now have a second six from the 10. Jones out the gun, looking to throw. Going to Tony again. And Kadarius Tony's going to get the first down, but he will be down at the three yard line, where he will now be a third and goal, though, for the Giants. Jones dropping back, looking to throw in a third and goal and he's going to be dropped. 
Big sack by Washington, and it will force the Giants to kick a field goal to go up by eight points. It'll be a 24-yard chip shot for Harrison Butker. Of course, he will hit it, but still, it's a one-possession game, 11-3. to For the Giants, Washington back with it from the 25-yard line. JT Daniels going to be dropped. There's Josh Allen, and Dexter Lawrence is going to pick up. You saw the bull rush by Allen on the backside, and the Giants take over at the 14-yard line looking for more. First and goal for Jones, dropping back, going to Barkley. Saquon will catch that one at the two-yard line. It will now be a second and goal for New York. A third and goal at the two-yard line. Play action fake. Jones looking to throw. Trying to get to Rob Gronkowski. But that one won't be caught. And we will see what the Giants do here on a fourth and goal. They're going to try to go for it. Jones in the handoff. Barkley is short. Washington's going to stop him at the goal line. And what a goal line stand for the Washington football team. Keeping this game to a one-score ball game. It's 11-3. Going into the second half. Still anybody's game. The Giants get it though to start off the third quarter. It will be a third and five for Daniel Jones. Looking to throw over the top. Going to Kadarius Tony. That ball's picked off. Bad throw by Jones. He was testing the deep coverage. And instead, the Washington football team are going to take over from the New York 35-yard line. Big swing early here in the second half. But it's a third and 14 for JT Daniels. From the 39-yard line, Daniels looking to throw. He's going to get close. Antonio Gibson going to bounce off the tackle from Deion Jones. Gibson will be down at the 31-yard line. And it will be a fourth and five for Washington. They'll come out for the 48-yard field goal. The kick. Oh, my goodness. They're going fake field goal. Sam Slow. Roman's gonna throw the football and it's incomplete. So they try to do what we do with Harrison Bucker to no avail. Washington will get no points out that drive and the Giants will take over from the 45 yard line. Saquon Barkley on the screen will get the Giants down to the 46 for a third and two. Play action fake for Jones looking to throw, surveying the field, going deep to Darius Slade and that ball's incomplete. The Giants taking a shot on third and two is all right because now we're going to go for it on fourth and two. Jones in a play action fake, looking to throw, still looking, taking a shot. Darius Slayton again, that ball is incomplete. Two deep throws for the Giants, both fall. And now Washington gets it back from the 46-yard line. They're still in this game. It's only eight points. JT Daniels is going to find Gerald Everett. We're going to dive at Everett and we still can't bring him to the ground. Gerald Everett's got Washington down to the 28-yard line. Big play right there. It is now a first and 10 for Washington. Dropping back is Daniels to his right. He has got Patrick Herbert, the backup tight end. Herbert for a gain of 17 yards. The New York 11-yard line has got Washington a first and 10. Daniels dropping back off the empty set. To his right, that ball is caught. It will be Curtis Samuel. Samuel to the two-yard line makes it a second and one again. Empty gun for Daniels. It's going to be a QB draw. He bounces off a tackle, and JT Daniels is into the end zone. The Washington football team make this game 11-9. to They're going to go for two to try to make it 11-11. to Terry McLaurin's going to catch that football. We have a tie game here at 11 with two minutes left to play in the third quarter. It's a first and 10 for Daniel Jones. Scrambling to his right, he will get to Darius Slayton. Slayton's going to catch that football. He's got the Giants now to the Washington 42-yard line for a third and nine, though, from the 41. Jones dropping back, looking to throw. Daniel Jones barely gets it off. That ball is going to fall incomplete. Chase Young on the hurry. And it'll be a fourth and nine. We're going to go for a 58-yard field goal of Harrison Bucker. EA told me this was within his range. It's going to fall short. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yikes. Washington's going to get it on a second and two here. There will go Gerald Everett for the first down. Everett going to get Washington down to the New York 28-yard line as we go into the fourth quarter. This one all knotted up at 11. Let's see if the Giants can remain undefeated. Washington starts on a second and three from the 21-yard line. Daniels dropping back. The Giants sent big pressure. And Micah Parsons and Kavon Thibodeau get to him. It's now a third and 18 for the football team. Still looking to throw. JT Daniels sitting in the pocket. He gets it to his right. That's going to make the field goal a whole lot easier. Gerald Everett gets him down to the 21-yard line. It will be a 38-yarder for Sam Sloman. He's going to hit that one. Washington goes up by three. The new score, 14-11, to 11, with the Giants getting it back from their own 20 yard line on a third and ten Jones gonna take a shot deep to Stefan Diggs and we're gonna get bailed out right there by the defensive pass interference call it of course is on Washington and it's gonna be on Kendall Fuller we will now get the football at the Washington 29 yard line for a second and seven Saquon Barkley on the ground we haven't seen much of him tonight because 
I mean, 14 rushes for 51 yards. Not a Saquon Barkley night so far, but we will see first and 10 from the 14. Barkley picking up seven down to the Washington seven yard line. Second three now for the Giants out the gun. Jones looking to his left. Saquon Barkley to the outside on the swing route. Gonna get him down to the two. A1 out be a second goal for New York. They're looking to throw Jones to his right to Reggie Roberson. He's down at the three. I'm not running the football right now because it hasn't been working all game. Barkley on a third and goal. See what I mean? I mean, damn. Washington's D-line came to play. We will elect to take the 21-yard field goal from Harrison Bucker. He will hit it. This one tied up at 14 points halfway through the fourth quarter. Here comes Washington. Antonio Gibson is going to fumble the football in the first play. It was Micah Parsons with the hit. Deion Jones recovers it. And the Giants get it from the 18-yard line. They've been draining the clock. The problem is it's third and 10 from the 18. That ball's incomplete. And we'll take a 35-yard field goal with Harrison Butker. Butker's going to hit up. The Giants have only been in the end zone once in this game. And here comes Washington. Two minutes left to play. Can JT Daniels get this team into the end zone? He's going to take a shot. Terry McLaurin burns James Bradbury downfield. And that's a 75-yard touchdown. JT Daniels on one play connects with Terry McLaurin over the top and Washington goes up by four points It's 21-17. So now the Giants are in that same spot. Two minutes left to play. Jones lobbing one up for Stephon Diggs. Horrible ball, but Diggs gets there. So Stephon Diggs down to the 49-yard line. Two minutes left to go. Here comes a first and 10 with two minutes left. Apparently the lighting has changed now in the stadium, but still Jones to the outside. Got Kadarius Tony over midfield down to the 38-yard line. Here comes a second and nine. Jones dropping back again, looking to throw Daniel Jones, looking to get it off, and he's going to be sacked by Chase Young at the 48. And now it's a third and 24. Jones trying to get something back here. He even went up to Stephon Diggs, and it's dropped. So it's a 4th and 24 now for the Giants. You gotta get it here. Jones going for it off. Stephon Diggs. Single coverage. That ball's gonna be incomplete. Washington comes up huge. The Giants still with all three timeouts. Have got to get a stop. Second and seven. Daniels in the handoff to Antonio Gibson. Gibson's got the first down and more. And the Washington football team. Winless no more. They go on the road. They start the season 0-6. But again, it's always a close game between these two teams. Washington goes on the road and they defeat the New York football Giants, handing the Giants their first loss on this regular season. The Giants now fall to record of 5-1. And, and for the Washington football team, of course, picking up their first victory, they are now 1-6. On the season, it is a tough loss to swallow if you are the New York Giants, but you have to rebound next week on the road up north. You're heading on to Minneapolis, Minnesota to take on the Minnesota Vikings, a Vikings team that will roll into that game with a 500 record at three and three. And folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 88 of the New York Football Giants franchise mode here on Madden 22. Washington is victorious in this contest by a score of 28 to 17. Again, folks, thank y'all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down with more. And Mamba, forever.